Okay, so I'm working on a new tone. This is M-688. And I've got our motor here, which is a 23272. So when I go to put it on, you can see that the shaft, let me get a better shot, isn't perpendicular to the, it's got an angle to it. Might be a little hard to tell. Anyway, it's not sitting straight up and down. Because of the body that the plastic around the coils, that body's quite high. I got another motor here for a different unit. That motor actually has a smaller coil housing. Anyway, I can't add shims because if I were to add shims on this, it would make it tip even more that way. Okay? If I was to add shims. So what I'm going to probably end up doing is cutting this metal bracket where I've marked it with a red marker so there's no metal there so that that coil body can then drop up a little ways and that'll make our shaft perpendicular because right now it's way off it doesn't look way off but it's way off and our blower would uh, rub on the blower wheel would rub on the thing anyway I'm going to give it a whirl okay so now on this uh, new tone 688 I took and uh, took my aviation snips and cut out a notch right here out of the metal bracket. So I cut this metal out so that this coil housing could come up farther and not hit this, not hit the bracket. So here's my got it up in there on this one. Here's my final channel challenge that the the uh, pigtail is not long enough to reach the outlet. It wouldn't, no matter which direction you'd put this motor, it's not long enough to reach over and plug it in. So I'm gonna have to extend the the length on that a little bit. But that's we can do that. But everything's freewheeling up in here, so uh, we'll be in pretty good shape once we get that pigtail lengthened. And let's see the I think. Make sure. I already think I already mentioned the number on the motor was the 23272. And the blower number 23274.